my generation, they looking at it, it's just they wreck everyday life. They they born into the internet era. That's like you born into the automobile era. You can't see yourself getting on no horse, riding no horse from one side of town to the other. Because you born with automobiles. You born in an era where they had cars. So they born in an era of the internet. So they can't see no other way, no other way in life. You know life before the internet. They don't know that. They don't know nothing about that. To them, you speaking foreign. You talking a different language. Yeah. That's like somebody coming from the 18th century talking about horses and carriages. You don't know nothing about that. You're gonna be like, what? So I noticed that's a big, big disconnect because, and well, like you said, I'm 38, but I'm kind of old school. So I remember when we just, we still, I, I still live in real life. I don't live on social media. So it's a hard translate translation to get a young dude to be like, hey, bro, you know, you can get killed behind this. And he just worried about, like you said, that attention. Right. Listen, homie, it's no difference. That's like you talking to somebody before the automobile and they was used to riding horses and they saying, don't you know you can get in a car crash and die? Don't you know there's more people down on car crashes than horse crashes? And you saying to him, man, I'll take my chance with the car. He said, man, don't you know you can run into the wall, people dying every day in accidents? When you brought up in an era, it's not a big deal to you. Most people die right now in car accidents than they do getting shot. Yeah.